I vaguely remember when I was just a wee nipper, about three or four maybe. So I had these two toys and they were both broken and I ended up making this little wee trike toy out of it and this had this one single wheel on the front and these two big fat wheels on the back and it was my toy, I loved it, I always played with it all the time. I didn't even think about it for ages until my father dropped some photos in one day and there was these photos of me building this little trike. As I got older, I was about 10 or 11, we built these little go-karts but my go-kart just had a single wheel in the front. The main thing I do like about doing this type of thing is I enjoy building something that's completely different from what everyone else has got. I started building the trike for myself probably about seven or eight years ago and um, I just I originally started using a V6 um, engine from a Holden. A few people sort of heard that we were doing it and um, before I knew it I was building trikes for other people and after sort of eight years I still haven't got one for myself. <laughs> Three years ago we um, looked at designing a bike for Australia regulations. So the bikes are brand new, we use all new um, components in it and we're setting it up as a, a manufacturing business so basically we're, we're building a vehicle from scratch. The centre of gravity is so low that they are so stable and you can push them as hard as you want around a corner and it doesn't even feel like letting go. And they're just comfortable. You can sit in them for hours and hours and just cruise along. They sort of cover every sort of aspect of the vehicle. It's comfortable, it's got a heap of power, or you can just cruise. We decided to go with a uh, 350 Chev engine because they're readily available um, and they're a good, small, compact engine and they sound good as well, and they're a very well-known brand. So we stuck with the Chevs, and we're using a, um, a later model engine, which is a, a Vortec engine. And behind that, we're running a, um, a B&M 350 gearbox, automatic. And then that way, you just sit on your bike, you chuck it in gear, you accelerate it, you brake, and that's it. Nice and easy ride. The seats are just a standard bucket seat, done by Racetech. Um, and basically, uh, carbon fibre as well. Uh, once we've checked them all, make sure the seats fit in the frame. We basically strip it out. We get the, um, the seats reupholstered in marine grey um, upholstery, so they're waterproof. And we get our logos, put them in, in there as well. So. To be honest, people get a bit scared. They think, oh, it's, how do I ride this thing? But honestly, within five minutes, you're sweet. You can ride it on a car license, um, so you can insure it as a car as well. You don't need to wear a helmet. Um, we have uh, full diagonal and lap seat belts. Um, so basically just jump on, chuck it in gear, and uh, away you go. The rims and the wheels that we use, um, we get them made in the States. They're made personally for, for our trikes. Um, so we've got a complete matching set of wheels, and they're, they're a, a lightened um, alloy composite that we use, and we're the only ones with those wheels. Just putting the last piece of the puzzle. I've uh, been waiting on these wheels for about two months now. So we've got the last two just now. And so that finishes this uh, trailer off. Yeah. Which is all good to go. They're good for going away for a week because you can actually take a wee trailer behind them as well. Um, so you can camp out for a week. Um, or there's a boot on there as well so you can chuck a six pack in there and um, go and park up for the night somewhere and have a good night. <laughs> They look great. As soon as you go out the door, um, people will stop and stare at the bikes and they just are amazed at how well they look. And, and the other thing is you fit in with the bike crowd and you can also fit in with the Hot Rod Club as well. So it sort of it covers all, all sort of um, areas of um, enthusiasts. If you want to test drive one, give us a call and come see us. Take one for a spin.